Take Care is Drake's second studio album released back in 2011. Although over 10 years old now, this album is still considered by many as Drake's best work. With only a handful of producers gracing the project and a couple of familiar features, Take Care is very much a full-on Drake album. Or is it? Back in 2011, a man called Abel, better known as The Weeknd, had just released his first ever project, House of Balloons, the first mixtape in his trilogy series. House of Balloons had a completely unique sound, both in production and subject matter. Songs filled with stories about drugs, sex and love, with soft and elegant vocals layered over dark, R&B and indie instrumentals. A unique sound that nobody else had really been doing at the time. Being very unknown, he was discovered by OVO co-founder Oliver El Khatib, who was impressed with the singer and shared what little music he had on the OVO Sound blog. Of course, once this happened, it was a very quick ascension into the spotlight for Abel. After the release of So Far Gone, Drake was keen to make an album that would leave his mark on the music industry. Something that would stand out and encompass all of his musical abilities, both in singing and rapping. Once Drake discovered The Weeknd, he knew exactly what he needed to complete his masterpiece. When Abel played Drake House of Balloons, he immediately had his eye on a few songs to use for Take Care. And what resulted was House of Balloons being cut down to just nine songs, with three to four songs being used for Take Care. These songs ended up being Shot For Me, Crew Love, The Ride and Cameras. Not only were songs taken from House of Balloons, but Take Care in general was heavily inspired by the Weeknd sound from this era. I believe The Weeknd is the main reason Take Care is Drake's best R&B effort. So does that make Take Care the collaboration album with The Weeknd we'll probably never hear? Most likely. Shortly after Take Care was released, The Weeknd was in talks with signing to OVO. Because this didn't happen and Abel signed his own deal, the two had little to say to one another for the best part of half a decade. As much as some fans like to say, the Weeknd isn't the only reason Take Care is one of Drake's best albums. The other side of Take Care is the catchy and memorable rap verses on tracks such as Headlines, Underground Kings, Lord Knows and The Motto. These songs are undeniably great and 10 years later still sound good. With production from mainly 40 and T-, this album proves you don't need loads of producers to make a hit, just the right ones. They're also pretty simple at their core, with the track Underground Kings being a simple guitar melody and drums the entire way through with only a brief vocal layer to break up the repetitive flow of the track. Lord Knows is brought to us by sampling and hip-hop royalty Just Blaze, with one of the craziest sample chops I've ever heard. Sampling the 1974 Baptist Convention Choir, led by Andrew Brown, and making it into a hip-hop slap with his MPC. Here's how to easily replicate the style of production used by Just Blaze on Take Care. By using a plugin in FL Studio called FPC, you can map drum sounds to virtual pads and control them from an average MIDI keyboard. Using this method, I created this drum pattern for my beat. This makes the drums have way more energy and movement, and it also helps if you're struggling to find a bounce as your natural groove steps in and takes over. You can very clearly hear on the track Lord Knows, the drums do not sound like they were just clicked in, but more like they were sampled or played for real. And this is the desired effect we can achieve with this method. The rest of the tracks on Take Care showcase the moody underwater sound created by Noah 40 Shabib, heard on songs such as Marvin's Room or Shot For Me. Before we jump in, this video is sponsored by LaLa.ai, the best place to go if you're looking to quickly and easily extract different musical elements from a song or beat. LaLa.ai uses artificial intelligence to analyze any song or beat you have and break it down into different sections, such as vocals, drums, piano, guitar, and more. The way I use LaLa.ai to make these blueprint episodes is by putting in whatever Drake sound I'm analysing and running it through the software. The result is I can separate the vocal layer from the instrumental, giving me a clean acapella to work with. This allows me to sync up the vocals with my own beat, giving me a clear example of what it would sound like with Drake on my beat. And the best part is the quality loss is extremely minimal and gives you a surprisingly clean sound. If you want to give LaLa.ai a try for yourself, just click the link in the description below. Without any further ado, let's get into this one. So the first beat I'm gonna make for this video is gonna be a really hard boom bap sampled kind of beat. So we're gonna be flipping a crazy sample here. Same sort of era as the original sample from Lord Knows, same style. So we're gonna get a very similar beat in the end. So the first thing I like to do when I flip a sample is just listen through and find sections that I can kind of hear being chopped up. Then after that, it's just making sure it's all in time. So if you want to know how to easily chop a sample and play it out just like Just Blaze, then this is how you do it with Fruity Slicer right here. All you got to do is just go up into Edit Properties, Tempo Sync, 
and then auto slice it to whatever size you need. So let's say medium, and then you just need to drag it and drop it onto an empty fruity slicer channel. And basically you're gonna have a bunch of chops like this. And you can see from this next clip that Just Blaze is literally just playing his sample on his keyboard, which is exactly what you can do if you get your chops loaded into Fruity Slicer like I am right now. So now that we've got our sample chops in Fruity Slicer, we can start arranging them in a way that is really high energy, but just like the Just Blaze Lord Knows beat. So here's what I've come up with for my beat. So for the drums on this beat, I want to again replicate Just Blaze's style. So he plays all his drums out on his keyboard. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing here using the FPC plugin in FL Studio. With this plugin, we can just map drum sounds to each different pad. Basically, it enables us to just play them as if they were real drums or samples or whatever. So it makes it sound much more realistic. And after a few attempts, I've recorded in this drum line here and all you got to do is quantize it and we're good to go. Right here, we're just gonna be adding an EQ to our sample, cutting out some of that low end off of it just to kind of make room for our own bass and then also a reverb as well. So now I'm gonna be adding the bass to the beat and then you wanna add an envelope here so it has a instant attack and it sustains the entire time the note is held and it has an instant release as well. So for the first time ever, I'm trying out Splice and I wanted to find myself an open hat loop that sounds super realistic and also bouncy. So I didn't like the sound of the drums and also the vocals in the sample. So what I decided to do was run it through lala.ai and it's gonna remove and separate the drums the vocals and the actual piano and all the other instruments inside the sample so I can flip it in a much more creative way now. So my intention with this part of the sample is to create a switch up for the verse section of this beat, which is what we're about to do right now. I decided to keep it really simple and go back to basics and just chop up this sample in the playlist of FL Studio. And we're adding in some piano elements here and creating a really nice sample chop. And that is basically our first beat done. Now I know you guys are dying to hear what acapella I put on this beat, so yeah, give it a sec. And I hope you won't be disappointed. Have you been tried in the fire? Have you been tried in the fire? Well, tell me, did you come through? They trying to push me I know that showing emotion Don't ever mean I'm a pussy Know that I don't make music For niggas who don't get pussy So those are the ones I count on to diss me or overlook me I fell in love with the pen Started fucking the ink The hustle's an art I painted what I would think Still allergic to broke Prescription straight to the paper Destined for greatness But got a place in Jamaica Still on the water With the wonderful views Only fat nigga in the sauna with juice When they got a yacht I'm talking So just to recap over what we did to make that beat, step one, find a gospel choir sample. The way I found my sample was I went on YouTube, found the original sample from Lord Knows, and then I clicked on like relatable ones, like ones that are sort of similar in a playlist, and just went through it, found my sample, 
Next step is just to chop it up and flip it so that it's more of a hip hop sample. So it has high energy, bouncy, catchy, whatever. So we did that in Fruity Slicer. Step three, add bouncy and realistic drums. So we played our drums on the FPC plugin. And step four, finally, just add a switch up for a verse section just to keep things not as repetitive. We chopped up a bit of the sample without the vocals on it or anything. So it's just piano and it sounds really, really good. And that's literally all there is to it. Very simple, very easy. Let's move on to beat number two. So I'm analyzing the song that we're gonna be replicating this beat after inside of Melodyne and checking out the chords so that I can then make my own melodies. And speaking of melodies, we're gonna start with a chord progression which I've created from a MIDI in my Blueprint MIDI kit. So if you guys wanna check out this kit, it's a huge MIDI kit of over a thousand MIDIs and it's currently on sale half price. So link down in the description, check it out. So these are what my chords are looking like right now, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys how you can achieve that underwater Noah 40 melody kind of vibe. One of the most important things is definitely sound selection. I'm using Analog Lab 5 to choose my sounds, and I'm looking for something that's like a Rhodes or a piano, something very soft and melodic. Then once you've found a sound you like, the music theory is very important. So let's get into that. So to break down these chords, we've got highlighted here the triad, the main minor triad chords in there, which are gonna give it that sad emotional kind of feel. On the bottom we have the bass notes which act as like the root of the chord for some added low end and also as a guide for the bass to follow. And then on the top we've just got an added note which is going to extend the chord to a 7th which is supposedly meant to make them a bit more beautiful sounding apparently but I'm not the biggest expert on music theory. And the final thing is effects processing, very important. What you need to do to achieve the Noah 40 sound is go into Edison and decrease the sample rate drastically to make it sound really underwater. After that, to give it a proper R&B feel, we're adding a synth bass from Omnisphere. And because this is such a slow R&B track, there's gonna be next to no drums in this one, but the one element I'm going to add is this kick just to drive the rhythm of the beat. I decided that the chords by themselves just aren't enough for this beat so I decided to add a little counter melody here with a nice synth sound, a nice pad kind of going along with the chords. And like I said before we're going to be filtering out our kick sound so I'm just running it through Edison like the melody and just decreasing the sample rate. So I felt as though my drums were missing a bit of percussion, so I went on Splice and found this loop, so we're gonna chuck that in as well, see what that sounds like. and now it's perfect. All we had to do was pitch it down an octave and also stretch it so it's twice as long. So it's super slowed down now. So the genius behind the simplicity of Noah 40's drums is actually very simple. It all comes down to the sound design and the effects. With the sound design, we're talking about the actual drum sounds themselves. What Noah does differently is that he chooses sounds such as toms and kicks, stuff that doesn't have much high end anyway. So when you filter it out, it just sounds really good and really smooth and it creates even more room on the track sonically for Drake. And in terms of effects, you can achieve that by just decreasing the sample rate of any of those sounds. And this is really common to hear on the Take Care album. A lot of the songs incorporate this style and this kind of effect with the drums.
and there you go that's beat number two done that's an r&b drake type beat right there produced by noah 40 heavily inspired by the song doing it wrong from take care if you guys are enjoying this video so far then do me a massive favor and leave a like on this video So let's recap how we made that beat. Step one, you've got to have an emotional chord progression. I recommend using the minor scale to get that emotional feel. Try and use long sustained chords with pad sounds to get the right vibe. Step two, you've got to have your low key tom slash kick pattern. Nothing like a snare or hats or anything like that that has high end. It has to be low kind of chill sounds like toms and kicks. Step three, you want to decrease the sample rates of your melody and also your drum sections to really put them in the background. And step four, finally, you want to have a counter melody and maybe a few accents as well, like vocal chops or something to really set the vibe. And yeah, that is the second beat done. So let's move on to beat number three. So beat number three, this one's heavily inspired by Underground Kings and also Headlines, the kind of T minus and 40 combo on this album. So yeah, we're starting off with a sample that I found and we're going to put it into Fruity Slicer to give it a bit more of a rhythm as well as change the pitch a hundred times till we find the right key. With this beat, I wanted to get the drums down early on and get the bounce established. So that's what we're doing right here with just some very simple and kind of old school sounding drum sounds. Right here, I'm using a program called Key Finder to check the key of my sample, just because things can get a bit confusing sometimes when you're constantly changing the key. So I want to make sure that we're working in the correct pitch. I really wanted to make sure that there was an end section to my bass so it kind of builds up to the next drop and kind of keeps that early 10s rap theme alive with the synth bass and I think it sounds really cool. If you want to get the most bounce out of your hi-hats, you definitely need to be messing with the velocities in the piano roll like I am here. Depending on how high you have them and in what rhythm, it can create a whole different bounce. Right here, I'm just placing my velocities on the downbeat at a random position to create a nice natural open hat swing. Because our sample is kind of like an ambient layer, it's not really enough to take up the entire melodic space of the beat. So I'm adding some strings and we've come up with this chord progression right here. So you can probably hear the headlines influence coming through here. I decided to copy the kind of like quick stuttered chord effect uh, on the strings and yeah, it goes really well with this beat. So I decided to change the hi-hat to a closed hi-hat to get more of that old school trap sound in there. And I think it works with the beat more anyway. So 
So I've lost track of how many times we've decreased the sample rate in this video. But yeah, we're doing it once again on the sample this time. And time to use lala.ai again. This time we're going to be putting in one of the Drake songs we're inspired by for this beat. And we're going to be getting the vocals from that. Speaking of vocals, here is a really nice vocal drop I found on Splice. And that is the beat completely done. The third and final beat. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me make these. I want to know which beat is your favorite. Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, enjoy. Rich off of trouble water, ice in my money water. Rich off of mixtape, got rich off of mixtape. Probably shouldn't be driving, it just got so much harder. Can't even see it straight, I can't even see it straight. Uh, fuck with me, I buy the shots. Never little, cause niggas die a lot and lie a lot. But I'm the truth, that's right, I fucking said it. Delivering proof that you ain't gotta die to get to heaven. You, girl, you right there, you look like you like this shit. How'd I know, how'd I know? That's me on some psychic shit. I could tell a lie if you're asking me my whereabouts. But I might tell that real if you ask me what I care about. Water, rich off a mixtape, got rich off a mixtape. Probably shouldn't be driving, it just got so much harder. Can't even see it straight, I can't even see it. So that's pretty much the video done. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. This video was mad, a uh, lot of lot of effort went into this one. So if you guys did enjoy it, then please do me a favor and leave a like down below. And also comment below, let me know which blueprint we should make next, who we're gonna cover, what album, what artist. Let me know. I'm open to ideas. One final thing, if you guys do want to get any of my sound kits, you've got 24 hours to get them all half price and then the sale is over. The links are down in the description. Massive shout out to our sponsor, lala.ai. Make, make sure you check them guys out as well. Link down in the description. Go over to that website. Super useful. Big shout out to my editor, Hayes, for helping me get this video out in time for you guys. And yeah, follow me on the gram at Prod by Jack and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace. Never little, cause niggas die a lot and lie a lot, but I'm the truth, that's right, I fucking said it. Delivering proof that you ain't gotta die to get to heaven. You, girl, you right there, you look like you like this shit. How'd I know, how'd I know? That's me on some psychic shit. I could tell